Hi there. You may not recognize me right now, but back in 1994, I was the biggest bad guy in the world's greatest haunted house. And this, finally, is the official 1994 Britannia Manor Spook House video. After this quick introduction, we'll show you some of the news clips from the vast media coverage that the Spook House received, and from there, continue right on into the rest of the video. So watch closely. You'll probably see yourself, or someone you know, having the time of their life, working harder than they ever have, scaring the daylights out of some poor stranger. Enjoy.
We walk through the whiteboard areas in those people's areas yes. and say, oh, we've noticed a change here, we made a change here. That means we have, right. to, we have to impart that information. Yep. Um, I, I really want their input big time on the design phase of what's going on with Spook. We should put global change, you know, all managers need to know this and, and, and reflect that change and just put it on the mailboxes. Um, the clerical work on that is the only issue, I guess, well, I would do that. The clerical, but, I mean, uh, the, so what I want to feel comfortable with in this room is that whatever the cost of is associated with her tits, i.e. anything from the zero, i.e. bare-breasted, no coloring even, to the make it up like it's actually scaled over her body and so the fact that they're naked is not necessarily relevant, to the fact that there might be a necklace that has two large beads that happen to be stuck <laughs> right to her nipples. Okay. Which, by the way, I think is as far an extreme as you'd ever have to go to. So I'm, I'm going to run out the assumption that the makeuping on this flesh will be somewhere between, it will be made up enough to where the fact that, this, that it is naked just through makeup is not standing out at you and uh, as a primary feature. Cool. I have a big problem I have that. a real concern. If we're going to look at it from a child's point of view, I have some severe concerns. We have to change a lot more than tips. Uh, I'll get back to you. <laughs> and Regardless of whether we like to think that killing is worse than tits, because I think killing is worse than tits, <laughs> that is not the way normal United States ratings occur for any kind of experience that the public wishes to have because the religious right or the conservative people or whoever they are, you know, general populace rates things differently than we do. Measurement. Some of them are tagged in the corner as to the right. measurement. Those that aren't tag in the corner as to the measurement. Every time we do this, we have the same problem. Like directions. Meaning. Like, did you bring your bigger crowd? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good and good for you. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow are you going to can I have Liberal Day? Liberal Day? Funny you take too far Now hey, Greg's got it right. The next step, the next step to proof that this is really what you stand behind is that you should all be exposing yourselves. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we got a camera, don't forget. <laughs> Rich, I think you know who the ring leader oh, wait, is. Are we gonna have it? It's alright. No, I, I nailed this one. Be uh, a gargoyle or not a gargoyle, but a demon up there. 
be black lit from fluorescing lights. Of like the, the themes are kind of hinging, bending in, it's kind of a, a flexi room. scrutinizing the positions much more carefully than, us than usual, but also I hope nobody takes any offense that ev essentially every speaking part, we're going to give everybody very active training. And it doesn't mean that we that we don't think you're a good actor or don't speak well. Please don't bring it to me. Or any beer for us. To Richard. Richard makes those decisions. And please be aware, you know, they're, we're going to offend everybody at some point. You know? Richard so loves talking out rationally. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah, talk. Animal lectures. Yes. I, I had a shirt. Oh, he's just been to the manicurist. <laughs> yeah, with all that paint on him. Oh. I think back, of course, goes back to pain, though. <laughs> that way you get to see everything. Yeah. A lot of fun. You're not videotaping me fucking up, are you? No. Maybe it's fine. The castle guard, burning. I'm making it look bigger too. There was the arc. People wouldn't. Oh no, I agree. Um, but theoretically, we're gonna have maybe, maybe the door open here, or maybe oh, so this would be bad. So maybe the door open part way here. Yeah, the coach can definitely, it okay. goes on like an eight inch, eight inch thick and get down and stuff. And so it's a little bit. It's a <laughs> Oh, it is so great. Wow. And it's so sticky. Yeah. And when it drops. It comes up pretty big. Just wait. It'll get big. Great, thank you. Okay. Learn that skill. Come. And right hand come uh, against your uh, stomach. And oh. one, two, three, four, Flush that two by four? Yeah, roughly. Roughly? roughly. Yeah, don't get crazy. Okay. I'm not, because it's going in. Hopefully, those screws are put in right. <laughs> Leanna! Too long! Scott Hazel! 
Take the rock. Right Take two. You're still fine. You're still fine. And falling AH. Wow! style, which is to do announcements during while people are eating so that we don't wait till people are done and then oh, start doing announcements. And yeah, and hey, shush! <laughs> Shove something in that guy's mouth. And, uh, no, so, uh, by the way, thank you very much. We had a really good turnout today. People also came pretty early, which means we got a lot more done than usual. Uh, and have we got about 70 people here, 69, 70 people, it sounds like. Uh, great turnout and a very good progress. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and please let's keep that going for the next couple of weeks. Three or four weeks. Five weeks. Let's use a brand new 30 by 40 and guarantee. Oh, you mean to go over the roof? Big enough. We'll take the extra excess of it off over on your side. Give me some. Uh, there was gin caps and a slot packer. You got two 30 by 40s, right? Yes, we do. We want We'll use one of these blue tarps to give them their a little shade across that table. It's almost the same size. Over about four feet or so, we'll hang off this side. When we make this big shed on this side, we'll hang over the top of that tarp. Why don't we bring the plastic up here and we'll drape it over both sides like this instead of holding it up? Turn on the propane. Will not turn on the propane. I'm over here. Propane would be bad. Oh, very nice. Turn it up lower. <laughs> lower than that. Holy shit. Wind. I think that's the motivation for moving. Once you recognize these guys are not dead, then that's the reason why you're, wait a minute, whoa, what's going on here? I think that's what motivates you to move. Well, um, yes, it, it, Britannia Manor is entirely different from most haunted houses, or what people, most people think of as a haunted house. Um, normal haunted houses, like things that are run for profit or for charities, like for the JCs and March of Dimes, it's a series of uh, disjointed or disconnected rooms that people walk through, and people generally yell out, uh, or run out of the dark and yell boo, or try to scare them with some other type of effects. Um, Britannia Manor is more of an adult-oriented, Halloween adventure. It's fully interactive. Uh, there is a plot. There's a script. We have uh, full rounded characters. There are puzzles which the uh, guests must solve. Uh, they must interact with the characters in the spook house. 
Um, they have items to find. Uh, they have to figure out which item's real as opposed to which item is the fake one they're looking for. So um, uh, Britannia Manor is more than just a normal spook house. It is really a Halloween adventure. And there's the plot, and there's a script which defines what the uh, guest experiences. demanding, uh, but it's also uh, physically fairly challenging. Uh, so far, we've put two people in the hospital. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the people who really get into it, you know, kind of... We have to be back here! Y'all going to get those down to the... Uh, down, down to the board of us. Where's the line leader? So, uh, let's get everybody... Spread. It's going to go all the way to my neighbor's driveway. Get everybody lined up in their groups of four. Starting with your AC. All right, congratulations. See you here tonight. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Where's your old group? One, two, three, four. Great. Great. Great for the count twice. Make sure you don't screw it up. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Thanks a lot. Have fun. Hey, here's my four right here. Like one percent. I think you wrote. 
No, never forget that. Right 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 right. You want to be running by dark, which, which uh, right now, before daylight savings time kicks in, is probably going to be around 7 o'clock or 7.30. 7.37. Brian, I think tonight I'm going to exchange my star for the Gorgon Talisman. That way the, they won't have the Gorgon Talisman to give to the witches. I'm trying to help her up the hills oh, and stuff. I do. I had a little 14 year old come back for me in the area. She just got scared. Where is your nose anyway? Way up there. Do we have, do we just have the five of us every night or is there going to be more than that? Or do we know right off hand? It should be just the five of us, but there may be more than that. about the equipment, the, the, the manpower hours, everybody, everything involved to put this thing together. Well, this is truly an extreme event. I mean, if you just look at what it takes to put this thing together, uh, it really would have to be considered a flagrant waste of enormous amounts of time and money. Uh, if you think about the time involved, for example, uh, it takes over 350 volunteers out here for two months to create Britannia Manor. They've already logged over 10,000 hours of time in creation. Uh, it takes over 150 people to man it each night that it operates. If you think about the uh, logistical resources, or I should say the more uh, tangible resources, things like money, for example. Uh, personally, I've donated uh, just under $100,000 to it. Uh, the companies, uh, my company Origin and other companies we're associated with have donated another thirty dollars or $40,000 in addition to that. In capital equipment, like concert lighting and laser equipment, sound effects, things of that nature, there's a company here in town called High End Systems, which has donated $350,000 in uh, lasers and lights and fog machines and things of that nature to this endeavor. Uh, so it really is just a massive uh, uh, amount of machine and people necessary to bring this online. People are going to look at you and see you dressed up in this outfit, and, and here's a guy who's got everything going for him. Why? Why? Why do you do this, Richard? Why do you get involved in this? You know, why do we do this is one of, probably one of my uh, favorite questions to try to answer. And for many years, I didn't have a good answer to that because uh, we've been doing this for so long. I mean, it was kind of hard to imagine the reason. Uh, but I think I've actually found a good answer finally. I, was, uh, I heard a piece of profound wisdom of, all, of in all places on, on MTV, a rare place to probably hear profound wisdom. And uh, I was hearing a rock and roller talking about doing live performance. And he said, uh, you know, when we make an album in the studio, 
we know how much people like it because of how much it sells. But on the other hand, uh, we never get to see people enjoying our craft until we do live performance. Well, computer in the computer industry, our industry is very much the same way. You know, you make a computer game, you know how much people like it based on its sales, but unfortunately for computer games, there's no such thing as a live computer game performance. Uh, and so I really think that this is really the closest thing. If you think about it, what we do is interactive fantasy role-playing games. Well, what is Britannia Manor, Manor other than the greatest, the, the daddy of them all, so to speak, of, of interactive adventures? And Before we go into the Hellmouth, I want to be certain that you are aware of what you are about to do. You are going into the very depths of Hell. You do understand this, don't you? Yes. Yes, very well. Come with me. There are things you must know before you enter into Hell. First of all, once you have entered into the Inferno, you must go ever forward, never turn back. Secondly, Hell is filled with divine They will try to trick you and Liar. keep you from your task Liar. at hand. Ah. Do not let them. Trust no one unless Liar. you find another one of my brethren in there wearing the same robes as I as you see before you now. They will be able to help you. Listen to their guidance. It will be very helpful. Thirdly, stay together. There is safety in numbers. Hell is a very dangerous place. If you become separated, you risk being lost or even death. From death and hell, there is no redemption. <laughs> now that we are here at the hell mountain itself, let me make sure you are aware of your task at hand. We must find the avatar. Locate the star of Palestine and with them close this Hellgate and banish the evil from our world. Do you understand? Very well. Climb on in. Send you. Yes, he sent yes. us. Oh, yes. Thank God. You come to help the Avatar then? Yes, yes, we have. I was with the Avatar when the explosions happened. I was too injured to go forward with her. She tried to help me, but her mission is far more important than my life. The Avatar went through that doorway. To follow her, you must lift the door up. But before you go, listen carefully. The master of the Inferno will try to trick you. Trust no one but the Avatar and the other monks. Now all of you go, quickly. Time is of the essence. You must help the Avatar complete her mission or all will be lost. Now go, quickly. In here, in here. I have been here long enough to know, though, that this boiling bath 
Murderers who are murderers on earth when they're alive, boiling forever in the blood of their victims. Mom, you don't belong Look, here. the creatures that live here, we must be Open the door, that lever. You, go raise that lever. You, the okay, lever. No. Okay, no. Let's go. I have been here long enough to know, though, that this place, evil sinners causing much suffering while they're on earth, now to suffer their own opportunity. Master sent you to inspect my work? Yes. No. You are lying. You have come to participate. Excellent. You will make wonderful subjects. You are all so hopeful. Hope is an important ingredient in my work. First there is fear. <laughs> then there is pain. But without hope, there is no torture only suffer and Minos has sent you to me so that I may devise your eternal torment have you no knowledge of Minos no, Minos is the judge of the damned all of the dead in hell face Minos have you not faced Minos no. are you not dead no. No. Ah, living soul it has been long since I have practiced my art on the living. Sometimes, when I do my work especially well, the master allows me to return to Earth. While I am there, I practice my art as much as I can. I inhabit the body of some poor sinner. I find the blood and the screams. The living taste especially sweet, don't you? It matters not whether you be living or dead, you must be judged. <laughs> you must cross the river Styx. You must pay the ferryman in gold, or he will take his pay in blood. You must travel to the city of Dees. <laughs> You must face the flame. You must stand before Minos, the judge of the damned, and he will decide your fate. Perhaps he will send you back to me, and we will make this way, this way. music together. Go, 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 go. Oh, look at these fellow creatures. Dude. Look, the Avatar. She beckons us towards her. That is the Avatar, the person we seek. Oh, no. The master that Look! We have found a holy man. Brother, I know not what brings him here. Perhaps he can help us. I have come to talk to you. Please listen to a sermon about sin. Tell us, brothers. brother. Sin is a vile and malignant creature. Yes. It is black and to be hated. Yes, brother. But you all know not to sin. Yes, we do. That's right, sister. You know not to sin, because sin is obvious. Sin is easy to see. Good job! No, sin is not the enemy to be feared. Tell us, brother. It is the sinner who is the enemy. Can I get an amen? Amen! amen. Can I get the hallelujah? Hallelujah! Oh. This congregation is a close family, saved, warm. Praise be. But the sinner, with his lust for gold, would sneak into our congregation and steal from your poor preacher those paltry offerings which you render unto me, that I might humbly serve you. No. 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 Well then. If we are to rid this world of sinners, 
then we must start here, now, in our own house. Show Beware, us Beware, brothers and sisters, for there are sinners here, almost us. No! Yes, it's true, brothers and sisters, it is true. There are sinners amongst us. Evil, vile sinners right here! No, no, come, yeah. come this way! This way, there's a door! And I a shall door. rid us of these door. sinners, and I yeah. shall do it but now! <laughs> run! Run, you fools! You have nowhere to hide! <laughs> yes, <Miles. laughs> I'm so sorry. He obviously was not a holy soul, but suffered from the sin of hypocrisy. Oh my god. I'm kind of let you know. Look at this poor soul. This bishop loves food better than his entire flock. Now see what it has gotten him. Forever be stuffed to the first Um, pardon me, pardon me. Can you tell us how to find the river Styx Minos? Thank you, Minos. Easy as it to find. Go you through that small door, and right you turn through the door across the room. Wait, wait, which way do we turn? Right you turn through the door across the room. Will you find the river Styx? Across the river will you find Minos. Now, be gone. Much work have I to do with this bishop. Yeah. Are we together? Yes. Oh, let us travel to the river. It's blocked. Oh, no. Evil woods, these used to be so nice and pretty. But now, I know when creatures live out here, they feel a very evil out here. Look at the eyes. Stay together. Stay together. Quickly. <laughs> Evil place. Ew. And over here, a chest. You yeah. have to over here, a chest. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go. We see gold across the sticks. Who's the bravest? You must see if there's gold inside. Take but a piece or two. We would not anger whoever this is. Do you have the gold? Yes. Good. Come this way. <laughs> Yes, I see the river. The river sticks as they spoke of. Who has the gold? You have the gold. Ah, look. Charon, the ferryman. He shall take us across the river sticks. Whoever has the gold, you must give it to the ferryman. See if he'll let you upon. I said you want one. And I shall join you. Oh, there is no room. I can be of no more help. You must continue your journey alone. Remember, seek the avatar. Ask Minos how to find him. Perhaps he can help you. Good luck, my friends. Good luck.
Where are you going? <laughs> no one told you my name. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Minos will draw you off. <laughs> if you seek Minos, Minos likes crispy mortals. As, as you pass through the gate, you must call him forth. Minos, 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 Minos. As you pass through the gate. Oh, 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 Minos, Minos. was going to send help, but I didn't think I'd actually find you. I have great news. A fellow monk and myself have discovered what we think is the Star of Palestine. It's located in the Pit of Death. Come with me. I'll lead you there. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I must warn you, the Pit of Death is a horrible place. It's, it's death for the dead. This is where the master of the Inferno sends the souls he's devastated to rot forever. But, but don't worry, because my, my, my fellow brother is down there waiting for you. He stayed behind to guard the star while I came up to look for help. We'll, we'll go into the pit and you'll get the star and my brother will send you on the rest of your journey. Oh, you're to locate the Avatar. Yeah. That's Finish it. your quest in the Star of Palestine. Star of Palestine. Yeah. Oh, mm, coconut. <laughs> Watch your step. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, 
the pit. We must enter into the grave. <coughs> Go down these stairs. At the bottom you'll find a, a small corridor. Follow, follow that corridor and it will lead you to the pit. Wait, I can feel the stairs. stairs. Can you feel them? I can wait, feel them. Yes. Okay, Eric, you go first. Uh, I'm first. Wait, Eric, you want to follow wait, or do you want to meet wait, us wait, down wait, there? Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Hello. Hey, okay, just be warned. Goodbye, my friends. Ah! Uh, are you the people Lord British sent? Yes. 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 We've come I'm, to help. I'm the monk Thelonious. I was attacked by a ghoul. Is there anything I will not live long, though. No. The only help you can have is to rescue my soul by bringing the Star of Palestine to the Avatar. You must that reach. Just reach into the corpse. I threw it there when I was attacked. Reach in there, get it. Yeah. Do you have it? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it? Yes, yes I have it. Yes, you have it. You must hold it. Keep it safe. You must follow after the Avatar. I cannot guide you any further than to the door on the far wall there. Is this real? There's an alcove. You must go through there to seek the Avatar. But you must hurry. The ghoul. The ghoul is returning. Quickly, the clock is the wall there. Quickly. The dark space. You have it. Go. Go. This way, ghoul. This way, ghoul. Try me. No. Come, no. ah. <laughs> I'll show you the way. This is the way. Come, crawl through the tunnel. Go to your left. She's not a monk. Should we believe her? I, guess no, I, no don't choice, believe her. I don't know. There's no other way out. There's no choice. I don't know. Ah. I can see up It's going to crush us if we don't believe. Ah. We have guests. Get out of here. Hi. Hey. To be together, but he's not anymore. But he has Look, children, there's someone in the cave. Can you let our friend out? Can you let our friend out? Do you know who that is, kid? I have a bad feeling about this. That's your mother in the cave. Ages are not a good sign. Do you remember when you told your mother I was under your bed and she didn't believe you? Ooh, bad girl, you should have believed you. remember when you told her I was in your closet and she didn't believe you? She didn't believe you because she didn't love you. I love you. I really do love you. She didn't believe you. She let me inside of your heads and she made you kill yourself. What shall I do, kids? Kill her! 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 Kill her!
They never, ever run away. The next time, the next time I catch you will be the last. What time is it? Time to go. Where have you been? Oh, no. I'm going to get it now. They're going to find out, you know. They always find out. Be on time. Don't be late. Be on time. It's time you learn your lesson. But it's not my fault. I didn't do it. It's not my fault. You were there. Why don't you tell them? You tell them. What's wrong with you? Cat got your tongue? Stop looking at me. <laughs> Time heals all wounds. Time heals everything. Lillian? Lillian? <coughs> Lillian? Is it really you? Not Why me. now, Lillian? Not Lillian. You know, I waited and waited. And you promised. I waited for three days. And it got cold. I got cold. And now you think you can just walk in here like nothing's wrong, like nothing happened. Do you expect me to believe that, Lillian? How much more? Do you think I can take Lillian? Not Lillian. There, there, precious. Mama loves her Dixie. Mama loves her Dixie dog. Do you see this? Take it. Take it. Uh -huh. Snakes hate this. Snakes hate this. Now you better hurry. You better go because they're going to find out. And when they do, it's not going to be my fault. Oh no. I'm not going to get it this time. Be on time. Don't be late. Be on time. Time you learn your lesson. Back this way. Oh. You know where the avatar is, yes? Uh, do we have the true star of Palestine? No. no. Yes. yes. Which is it? No. no. Do you not know then? He doesn't know. Um, uh, uh, Which way is out? It, it, yes or no? Um, is the avatar still alive? Still alive? Yeah, yeah, is the avatar still alive? Are we near, are we close to her? Um, um, will the monk guide us to the avatar? No. Do not trust it. I can't trust anything down there. Perhaps you will fall. Um, um, uh, uh, um. I think, I think uh, um. Will we beat the master of torment? The master of the inferno? I think that's a... Yes, we will yes, win! Yes, yes, we will. Okay, uh, uh, will all of us survive? No. Ooh, that was a bad no. <laughs> <laughs> you're out of here, babe. Barb, you're dead. Woo! Uh, I think... Um... It wants we need to, to go. We need to go? This way. This way? This way? He hasn't said goodbye yet. Yeah. Okay, that's goodbye. Let's go on your right. Okay, do you have the star? Do you have the star? Yes, we have the star. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's the star. Oh, 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 Over here, there might be 
someone in here who can help. Enter. Okay. So, I have visitors. No doubt you are here to gaze upon my beauty. This is not rare. Look about you. There are others who have chosen to gaze upon me for eternity. But I sense you are here for more than my matchless beauty. You seek an item of great power, the star of Palestine. Do you not? Yes. yes. Fear not. I have what you want. You, come closer, and I shall give it to you. Wait, take this with you, but don't let her see it. We don't want to anger her. Snakes hate this. Come closer. Before I give you this item, you must gaze into my eyes. You have deceived me, guards. Seize them! Stop! Stop them! Stop! Stop them! Stop! Stop! Would it be Look over here at this soul. He loved money so much that it completely dominated his life. Money meant more to him than his wife, his children, and his friends. Now he is forever torn by that which he held most dear. And look over here at this miserable woman. She was once so beautiful that all of the men fought for her name. But she would have none of them. She felt no man alive was handsome enough to match her, her beauty. So she spurned them all in favor of her own reflection. So vain in life, her beauty has betrayed her in death. Ah! What a dilemma you have. A jewel of power you do seek. Yes. But how to recognize no. this gem of gems? How? Oh, tell us. What if I should be an imposter? Can you tell the true gem from one which is false? No, please tell us. Listen carefully, for I know all. The jewel you desire is the color every blade wishes to become. It's the color of that which provides your strength. Blood. It's the color of the drink that flows through your veins. Deceitful soul, red. didn't you lie to enough people when you were alive? Must you also lie to these poor souls? Quiet, monk. I am repentant. Trust me. Do not listen to this monk. She is a minion of the master of this inferno. You cannot believe anything that Don't she says. Don't listen to his lies. Come, we must leave. Quiet. I have had enough. Oh, you may not enter here. You have not been summoned by the three wise women. This is their realm, and only those who have their permission may enter here. Well, we've come to seek the Avatar. The Avatar, yes, I know that name. She was here quite recently. Pass this way. So she's still alive? She was when last I saw her. Why are you here? Why have you invaded my Me mistress's realm? May your mistresses, maybe they can help us. Why would they wish to help you? I don't know. We're here. You're live. Yes, 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 you yes. are live we beings. What? Lord British. Yes, I've heard that name. Did uh, he deign to accompany you on this journey of peril? No, he's not on the surface. No. Oh, he stayed back where it is safe and sent you into harm's way. And you, <laughs> fools that you are, chose to come to this place. Uh, I guess you so. will live to regret that choice, but you won't live long. But be that as it may, why have you come to my mistress's realm. Why seek you? There was no other path. There was no other path? Well, then I'm afraid you are in a great deal of difficulty because you may not pass here. Perhaps we have something of interest to your mistresses. 
What would you have that could possibly interest my mistresses? We have a token that's next to one. So, what is your point? That's a shot. Well, I'm afraid you missed. Very my mistresses are not interested in... Oh, but you do have something my mistresses are interested in. You have a gem of power, and they wish to speak to you. They have summoned you to an audience. Come this way, quickly, quickly, come this way, come this way. Do not keep my mistresses waiting. Hurry, hurry. So, you finally you arrived. You came through, through the gateway. Mino sent you into the pit. You smell like they haven't bathed in days. Right. <laughs> oh, they have something, something we want. want. No want. fine clothes, I And they think. gave their gold to Charon. They're too old to eat. To pass through our there, you must pay. pay tribute or suffer my wrath. My wrath. My wrath. Our, our wrath. wrath. Man, the master. The master of darkness is my love. My Mine. Our, our love. Great payment we demand. Such as this tender child. Left by the last sniveling fiend. Rather than stay herself. Fine tribute. But we, we know. know you have to find it. The star. Yes, the star. The star of Palestine. The stone of power. The master wants it. And I shall give it to I him. Shall. I shall. We, we shall, shall give, give it to him. him. Only the star of Palestine. Then buy your freedom. Give us the star. And you may go. We'll make sure. The master gets it. This is not the star. You try to trick us. You think us fools. Then you shall stay and entertain us for eternity. Powers of darkness arise! Teach these fools! Fight them to us! Get them! Greetings, travelers. It amazes me that you have come so far. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Yes. <laughs> We're looking for the Avatar. My name is Brother Nimrond. I might be able to help you. Come, this this way. Follow me. Where are we going? Beyond this graveyard, there is a place. I befriended a strange creature there. He is a strange imp that lives in a tree. His name is Imhotep. You must beware. There are things in this place that are not meant to behold. Come this way, quickly. Go! Be gone! Be gone from us! Beyond in this tree lies Imhotep. He might help you. He bears a claw to the master of the inferno. Somebody slid under me. Outsiders, yes. though it may be to my own destruction, I will help you strike a blow against the master of this inferno. The Avatar is being held in chains in the caverns of confusion. You will find the key to unlock her chains in the well of souls. Sadly, that's all I know. But now, go, quickly, okay. before the master learns you're here. Go! 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 If the demon Imhotep speaks truly, then the Well of Souls contains the only way to the Avatar's salvation. Here inside, check to see if you can find it. The key! Yes, there it is, the key. Then Imhotep is speaking truthfully. Come now. It may be necessary to go into the cavern, as he says. I am the keeper of the Well of Souls. Okay. You have trespassed upon my ground, and for that, you will die. Why 
are you here? We're seeking the Avatar. I'm trying to focus on the wall and make it fun. Find it. I will let you go on. Oh, here I go. You must pass the door. Do we have more? We have much more. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Keep coming. You know, I was told as a child that hell was full of fire. I thought forever that that was my final place to be. And yet now, I don't yeah. see anything. Are you coming?
Yeah. Okay. Oh, it, was it was great. It was a blast. Yeah, it, was it was awesome. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. great. That was kind what? of cool. That was awesome. It was great. That was awesome. <laughs> we had a good time. We had a blast. It was a lot of fun. We're a little wet, a little muddy, a little yeah. bruised, but we had a good time. Fabulous. Awesome. Great. Great. It was awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, the interactive element of it is what made the whole, um, just made, I mean, made the house. I mean, it was awesome. Good. Spectacular. Great. He lost his wedding ring. Oh, no. It was wonderful. We'll, we'll, we'll do it again. Last I, I, I think I could pick one. If we had lost, that would have been the room I thought we lost it. Yeah. They I was you, they, they make you distrust everyone. Right. We're trying to get them all to repeat your name. But that guy forced us against our will. Yeah. 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 I'm telling so, you. Is it worth it though? Oh, oh yeah. Without a doubt. Without, without, without a doubt. doubt. I would have done it again in a minute. Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic. The effects are incredible. We came from Iowa. Iowa. So, <laughs> go on drive and worth every mile. Great. Great. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. All together. I saw some of the nicest avatars in there I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'd say right towards the end. Yeah. Like towards the end. The walls closed in on us. That was pretty cool. I thought that was amazing. Um, it was just kind of magnificent. It was scary. I screamed a few times. I mean, what the best it. part was when the boat took off without him. Yes, he had to jump into, into the, the water. water. That was yeah. funny. So would you guys do it again? Hell oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Okay, well, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know, we have determined that this game is a little bit tougher than we expected. Well, over 50% of the people lost. The, the horror stories, by the way, are intended to be not things like what, like uh, what's not functioning, what needs to be fixed in your area, but rather, you know, who got really badly injured. Let's <laughs> 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 over here. Tom Brian Smith. I had one group. You give them the speech. You do know what you're about to get into. You're going into the very depths of hell, and they went, Yeah. I get into the depths of hell, and I go, Right there. You go in there, and they just sat there and looked at it. Adventures <laughs> like, Yeah, brave, go. <laughs> Out on the lake, there was this one guy on the boat who started to hock up and spit on that statue. That the big <laughs> man back, he started to spit, I hit the tank. <laughs> well, we had one group come down, ready to go to the witch's room, trying to figure out which is the correct stone. They look at it, and I said, well, which is it? He goes, I don't know, I'm colorblind. <laughs> got past the banshee, made a couple quick, you know, quick jokes there, got to the river sticks, and as they were boarding, the boat started to go a little bit further away from the edge of the shore. <laughs> the last woman, the, the third woman got on there, the third member of the group, she left on, barely got on, the fourth guy was left on the edge of the lake. He didn't know what to do. The boat was halfway out in the water, like five feet away. And I said, what are you going to do? You're separate. He goes, he looked at me and went, hey, and then he leapt into the <laughs> <laughs> we had one group of, of two guys and two girls come in, and my line is, you come to gaze upon my beauty, and one of the guys said, we sure have, and his girlfriend slapped him. <laughs> Slap them, she slapped them in the groin. <laughs> I was uh, driving the boat with the dragon, and these uh, four girls get on, and uh, the boat pulls away from the dock. And as it does, it approaches the island, and to make a turn, one girl leaps off the boat onto the island, okay. and within two seconds, all three other girls leap off on the island. <laughs> There's an imp on the island that jumps out of them, and they start doing laps. <laughs> Everybody's yelling, get back on the boat! <laughs> and they keep going around! <laughs> so finally, they get back on the boat, we take them to the dock, and they don't want to get off! <laughs> In the preacher room, when I, come, when I came up, I had this one group, very loving side, a, a boyfriend and a girlfriend holding hands there. I declared them to be sinners, drew my knife, they took off, one in each direction, <laughs> forgot they were holding hands! <laughs> Three people go by, we're scaring the daylights out of them. The fourth guy decides that it would be a much better route to go walking through the pool, comes up to one of the swamp monsters, taps her on the shoulder and says, how do we get out of here? Did he actually get in the pool? Yes. He crawled in walked across asked her when she was shocked that he was there and just like looked at him he turned and started walking the length of the bridge in the water Bye. i guess everybody knows i'm one of the crazy car drivers yeah Bye -bye. well i guess most of you heard we probably had a little bit of trouble with the exit door tonight <laughs> Well, we took a little left turn and we took it kind of hard and one of the guys inside the crazy cart flew across the inside, hit the door, and right out! <laughs> yeah, do we get to paint a reporter kill marker on it? <laughs> well, that, uh... well the, the good news about that was, he was an Origin employee. <laughs> yeah. I'm standing there behind my little cart and the fog's coming down. And Jennifer's doing her spiel, and she gets on lots, and she turns around, and she says, Now, give me the Star of Palestine. And they get in this debate. Well, how can we trust you? Do we, know you do we really know your avatar? And she's like, Didn't you see me calling to you earlier? Well, yeah, but, you know, we're supposed to trust people. And, and she's like, Well, please. And I, 
So finally, I've had enough of this. And I come bust out of my curtain. And I was like, I see the Lord British has chosen poorly. And they just bolted. And I was over there shot him. And I was like, so you turn. <laughs> As one group gets out, and one guy is responsible, so the other three gang up on him, and he's like, I failed, I'm sorry, and the other guy, like, just cuffs him on the back of the head, and like, <laughs> I was like, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Long stone, you know, and he's just like, I'm sorry, he, like, gets down on the ground, and it was beautiful. It's very nice. As everyone knows, I've been doing a lot of makeup, which means I've not been able to study lines. So I made a big cheat sheet written in big, bold black letters so I knew exactly what I was going to say. But in the heat of one moment, I told the group to go, that I, that I would give you them information to go destroy the Avatar. <laughs> Congratulations to all, to all of you for how well this has gone. Uh, in the sense of really, you know, uh, a lot of people at the front gate are already clued into the fact that we're not going to do this for some significant time in the future, if ever. And really, you guys have made this the most outstanding production that has ever existed on the face of this planet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you're very welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. I mean, really, the uh, the fact that this is the house is a very, I mean, it's an insignificant measure compared to the amount of effort and skill and quality you guys have put into this, okay? So really, I, my heart goes out to you guys. <laughs> for those of you who read, uh, so for those of you who read that article, yeah, ten thousand dollars of labor, you all got paid a dollar an hour. <laughs>
Let's go. Okay, so let's see. We'll go. We'll just torture in a second. But first of all, let me say uh, first congratulations on completing the third and next to final day of the haunted house. One again. Oh my gosh. We sent one of our own this time. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah, we sent Pam to the hospital with an unfortunate she accident. She wasn't the only one to be injured. She wasn't the only one to be injured. The anti preacher punched someone in the nose. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but also, let's see, today we were, we were honored once again by what I consider the, the deepest of all honors. We were, in fact, protested by fundamentalists. Yeah. <laughs> Show us your arm. Bunch of sick. And so she stood up and, and they could see the arm on her chest. They said, well, that doesn't really prove anything. <laughs> <laughs> DNA testing. And, then, and some dork said, Show us some ID. Get her name Avatar. My dad came up and signed my curtain. I was like, Stupidity and indecision is a weakness in humans, and you are a particularly weak. <laughs> Do you doubt that she is the avatar? They say she's not the avatar. <laughs> so let me give you some clues, big boy. White tabard, gold on, long hair. She's the avatar. Red skin, boom, big horns. I'm the demon. I'm bad. She's good. Get it? <laughs>
with me and a woman in a Milky Way bar. <laughs> if you don't remember the story, read the Chronicle. Anyway, I was standing in there tonight, and these people held up a cookie. <laughs> cookie. <laughs> and I thought, you know, I've been waiting four nights for this to happen. <laughs> Somebody finally brought me something. <laughs> and I took it, popped the whole thing in my mouth, chewed it three or four times, I went. 
and spit it all back in this guy's face. And, and hair, and eyes, shirt, brains and cookies. And this guy went, this guy's a gross demon. Yes, uh, in fact, actually, that's a good one. Eric got me good, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Eric did one where, you know, I give him the spiel, he must go on, come through this way. And I'm going to say, here is one of my servants, he will, hit, he will help you. When Eric goes, ah! And runs over and tackles me, grabs me, picks me up, and carries me off. <laughs> and I'm yelling back to people, follow the other guy! Follow the other guy! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another one of my favorites, another one of my favorites was when Somebody came walking up and said, you know, I've got a beard. And he just drops dead. Everybody <laughs> like, well, I guess you won't have that guy. Right <laughs> then, of course, we did the classic one, which is the, ah, uh, you know, they're all standing in like a line. I'm saying, I'm sure one of my guys would be happy to lead you into the abyss. And five out of six of them take a step back. <laughs> Give me the key. They're like, no, the key is in the note. So I just throw the note away, right? And I'm so glad I didn't read it in the, in the middle of the group because I read it after the group was out the door and it said, um, it said, dear Avatar, um, do you want to play hide the onk again tonight? <laughs> this time you can be on top. <laughs> Looked around and they said, Yeah, we saw Minos and we pissed him off. <laughs> you pissed him off? Why? They said, We don't know. And I said, Well, let's ask him. Minos, get out of here. <laughs> and Minos came strutting out with a big paper bag and went, Oh, you didn't expect to see me again, did you? <laughs> Going start the party. Yes. Okay.
Exposing yourselves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got a camera, don't forget. <laughs> I, Rich, I think I know who the ringleader oh, is. Are we going to have a. Uh, are we going yeah, to have a. Wonder. We all heard you paid $100. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 Woo! Like, may I have? We need a ball. Another ring ball. We need a ball here. You say the word. You watch those trucks. <laughs> Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heavens of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then would the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and leashed in at his heels like hounds should famine, sword, and fire, fill this great big giant weirdo spook house. Freaks with power saws and... and... Droops, droops, bleh, these guns over here! Put things together! And then would Tom Kobayashi, like Henry V himself, Come and beat up Stevatar. Go! Kill him now, once more into the ah! And we'll fill up our, the walls with Britannian dead. No! Oh, you caught one. Yeah, you bend this hand up. And then I like to stare intensely. Now what if they, nobody ever sees the mannequins doing this? And know what we're doing. But he'll cut them together, right? Yeah. <laughs> Rob, <God>, y'all. <laughs> Take me for your dairy queen. I like that. Oh yeah. The prey did that one. Yeah. G.A.B. How sweet! How sneaky! Hallmark moment! Oh, he's just been to the manicurist. <laughs> so, Robin, can you explain this process from start to finish? <laughs> you take some clay and you wad it up in a little ball. And you throw it at the cameraman. <laughs> and you shove it in your particulars. 
And what comes out is a mask. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone ever told you that that guy looks just like Yoda? No, actually. Brian Carter Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Shazel. <laughs> listen to me. I'm not Shazel. Please, anyone, listen. Okay, Shana. No more. Come on. No, no. Better and stable again. All this. Hi. <laughs> Tell me what's right. No, no, no. Where's that? Limit soul. Four, five. Hold it. Exhale. A H. Open your mouth wide and one, two, three, four, five. How oh, many? He had some breath left over at the end. Crazy cart rag. First ride. We took it right off. Huh? Better bring some more to the surface. Hey, it worked! <laughs> cool. Yeah. Is it with the minor setback we had last night and the kind of slow start we got <laughs> today, we actually have now some feeling or some sense of urgency building with the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an understatement? Yes, yes. Yeah. Panic. Okay, some sense of panic. <laughs> panic. Building with the managers. It's like, listen to me. Listen to me. Evil cameraman. Body mount, body mount. No, no, no. <laughs> she, she's not so excited about it, but it looks good, I think. <laughs> Give me angry, baby. Give me angry. Come on. Come on. There you go. You know what? You could use that out there. No, he's not. I wasn't on camera. I didn't say it. She did. What did she say? <laughs> Talking about all the little people. Little? No. All those nice, wonderful volunteers. Come on. Come on. I the didn't program. Say about volunteers. I said little people. Oh, oh, oh. Midget. We don't have any midgets working here. Right. Like Luna. We need little. Luna. They're tearing up the thing. It's the it's the it's the it's the t-shirt. They're tearing it up. It's making her possessed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was news already. <laughs> no. Hey, Tucker, no. Don't do that. <laughs> This is this is before the before of the Gorgon. And uh you'll get to see the later later. Maybe. If you don't want an extra if they don't mind an extra thing. Uh, wow, you're actually being helpful, amazing, and not annoying. For once that I've seen you at this place, you're being helpful. It's amazing. So there! Hey. Uh, just so you also know how tough this is, not only is this going to be intellectually demanding, uh, but it's also uh, physically fairly challenging. Uh, so far, we've put two people in the hospital. All right. 
this man, this one's tough. <laughs> tough one. Big one. Maybe we just chew it right off the bottom. And they'll get like a big Just uh, just cut it off right here. Photocopy it away. Got a big knife. Where's that big knife here? Anyway. <laughs> you have to be civilized. Oh, you don't want to take kids through that thing. Oh, I'm not taking them through it. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, he was thing. worried, Jennifer. No, I'm not taking them through it. I'm like, don't ever be the Leslie. Don't do it. Whatever they say, don't do it. It ain't worth it. Get out of here with that thing. Did you get a message from me earlier? Yes. 
I'll meet you later behind the pup tent set out front. <laughs> Before I give you this icon, you must gaze into my eyes. Deceiver! Seize them! Guards! Seize them! Stop them! Thieves! Thieves! You know what I, you know, I didn't give him the stop. I gave him my ball. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, we're the guards of Gorgon, we hope you like our show. We know you want the real gym, but now you have to go. <laughs> hey! Shovel a leg! Let's do the pole dance again. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> it's the pole dance, ladies and gentlemen. It's the dancing guard. Ah, chill boys. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants. Yeah, well, I am hopelessly in love with the Medusa. I hear you have something of hers. I would very much like it in exchange for information and a star of Palestine. Ah, <laughs> sit on my steps. Man, I want to tell you that God has blessed you with creative abilities, and Satan wants you, he wants to use that to destroy your life, man. I mean, all the stuff that you got going, man, God has blessed you. Every time you wake up, man, God has given you breath, man. And Satan wants, the Bible says in John 10:10 10, 10, that Satan's like a thief who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And Jesus has come to give you life and life more abundantly, man. And God wants to, he wants to use your life for his glory with, with the 
same creative ability he wants you to use him for his glory man. and it's much more awesome for him than it is for the devil and let me tell you what, there's one thing here that's wrong and that they don't show the reality of the flame and the pain that's going to be in, in hell the agony that's going to be in hell that's the only thing that's missing in this place but i'm gonna tell you jesus loves you he died for you give him your life I've got an interesting thing too, look. Let's get the cast to spread out along this fence and along this fence. At the very least, we can get a family portrait. Yeah! They're all bad. Mark, so I made the bed. Short people in the front. Appreciate y'all doing this. Not quite. Hey, you must do it. We're gonna wait for the video while Mark goes by. Hi, Mark. the group and they went some guy goes tell them to go to hell and i was like hey i'm already in hell i rule hell where have you been get with the program <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Does anybody know where the fundamentalists are? Or did we say Ray? Ray! 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 Hi! 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 These strangers have just come up from bottom of the hill, and uh, it's like they're not seen from down there. It's a severe disappointment. Do I get to keep this? I got a souvenir. I got a souvenir for the Avatar. It was the night before Halloween, and all through the manor. Not a saw was whirring, no bang of a hammer. The guests were all laughing and screaming with glee and everything was going as smooth as could be. All were having fun, as well they should. And Richard was thinking, ah, oh, life is good. When down by the barn there arose such a clatter as the go-kart crashed into the woods and it shattered. The guests were all bleeding, the scene it was grim. And they found the driver impaled on a limb. Greg, he was trying to deal with this mess. When the volcano tipped over and French fried poor guests, the squish room collapsed, and all were pinned in. And from the backyard, Brad yelled, Oh no, not again! The squish boom, somehow, the became possessed. and managed to capture four of the guests, who wouldn't let go of those poor souls unassuming, just over and over, kept squishing and booming. The mood it was eerie in the big finale room, as one couldn't help sensing the impending doom. Then a hoof went flying as the platform collapsed and lodged not too gently a poor Avatar's ass. But we, we kept trying to keep the show going till the fire broke out and got the whole place a-glowing. The guests were impressed, but they couldn't be fooled. They knew it was all special effects and just said, cool. When the sun was rising with the last of the smoke, and Richard could see it all wasn't a joke. He said to himself, so that no one could hear, I'm so glad Halloween comes but once every two years. Congratulations to all, to all of you for how well this has gone. Uh, in the sense of really, you know, uh, a lot of people at the front gate are already clued into the fact that we're not going to do this for some significant time in the future, if ever. And really, you guys have made this the most outstanding production that has ever existed on the face of this planet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I just use your house, Richard. So you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I mean, really, the uh, the fact that this is the house is a very, I mean, is an insignificant measure compared to the amount of effort and skill and quality you guys have put into this. Okay, so really, I, my heart goes out to you guys.